Luca or Ant? Mm. One of those two dudes will be playing in the finals. It's the first one in NBA history where two players post those numbers at age 25 or younger. Who's the best player in this series? A superstar is a fish. He is here. You understand? There was MJ. There was Kobe. Now there is Anthony Edwards. If you got a game that you have to win and Luka Doncic is taking the court, unless you're just in a situation where you're overmatched by a team, Luka Doncic is the guy that's going to be the difference maker in those moments. Luka Doncic is the real deal when those lights turn up. He runs to that, he embraces that, and he's got the physical presence that he can figure out a way to play through anything in that situation. So I'm going with Luka. It's going to be a hell of a matchup. You got a couple young stars and Ant-Man and Luka. There's going to be a new best player on the best team that wins a championship, right? Yep. Uh, there's not many of those guys that are active. Um, Jokic added to the list last year. We're going to have another one this year. Uh, so it is truly going to be a passing of the torch moment. Into his office, about to go to work. Bumping, shoving, spinning, firing. And these two are the two that everyone are looking at now. They're, they're, one of them are going to the NBA Finals to really separate themselves, to play on the biggest stage and compete for an NBA championship. So it's awesome that we're going to get one of them. And Luke is going to do what he does. Kyrie's going to do what Kyrie does. It has to come to a point, it's like, what are we, what are we willing to give up? Not what are we willing to stop. You can't stop great guys. You can't stop great players. Just hope they miss. But what are we willing to give up? And then you have to just tip your head. There's a difference between being the best player in the series and playing the best. Luka Doncic is the best player in the series, without a doubt. Because he came in the league playing so well, because we've seen him in the playoffs outplay Kawhi and Paul George when they both are elite defenders and give them 30-something points a night, we expect a lot from Luka. When Luka plays at his best, I think there, there is a slight level of buzz. See, Anthony Edwards at this moment, Luka. It is amazing what the points off turnover totals look like to It's Anthony Edwards. He's uh, the best, well, he's been the best player in the series in the last two series, and he faced Kevin Durant in the first one. Then he, he faced the best player in the world, Jokic and Son, both of them on. Hey, all I got to say is if Anthony Edwards go get a chip this year, that's crazy. The best player in the league, bro. He called. So y'all gonna hate me. He <laughs> gonna get that chip this year. It's gonna be crazy. It reminded me so much of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. They would kill you to win a game. It's not many players in today's game. Everybody want to be buddy buddy. Anthony Edwards is letting everybody on notice. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for y'all to give me anything. I'm gonna take it all, and I love it. I want to say Dallas. I feel like Dallas is more than capable of winning this series. But it's hard to bet against Minnesota right now. And man doing what he doing. How good is Anthony Edwards? Man, that dude is a problem. I was reading recently when Michael Jordan said that he sees some similarities in their style of play and the way they went about it. This is Jordan-esque, D-Wade-esque. This is an unstoppable offensive force, and even on the defensive end. And the one thing that I love about him, he loves to compete, he loves the game of basketball. And there's a basketball on the court, he's not sitting there chilling, chopping it up. He's going, taking the basketball, getting shots up and challenging people. When I say I'm not talking Jordan, Kobe like that, like he there yet, but what I'm saying is when they were his age, that's how, he, that's how they looked. 
and you see the heart and you see the closing the capability you see his athleticism you see his willingness to take the big shot you see him accepting defensive assignments and making a difference kg this brother to me is already the new face of the nba to that you say what i say anthony edwards everything about him is unique when i made the when i made the comparison to the 84 jordan I'm going to put my brain on young fella. Uh, well, he's like a young 84 Jordan, boy. You hear me? You're going too far. Listen, man. Lord, you're not watching. <laughs> That's how I know he's not watching the games. Wow. That's how I know you're not watching the games. Wow. Boy, you watching how... 84 I said 84, nigga. No, I'm watching how he coming through the lane. If Cat wasn't on this team, he'd average 30-something. You hear what I'm saying to you? Well, They'll get give 15 me a different year of another oh, team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a savant too. I'm a savant too. Go back and look at it. Look at this young boy. This boy coming through the, he turned the corner. If you ain't there, he throwing you in. Boy, you ain't watching the game. If you go back and watch how young Mike, matter of fact, go back that summer and watch him in the Olympic trials with Bobby Knight. He was just evolving into this next type of player. You know, he ran the system, he ran it well, you know, he took chances. When he got into the league, he started to evolve into something else. We knew that he was explosive. We knew he had charismatic personality, but you can see the evolution of this kid growing. After a while, you start hearing like, you know, it, it, the team starts to take on a personality. And I give Carl Anthony Towns a lot of credit. He understands that Ant is this great, great of a presence, and he's allowed him to lead. They not doubling you on the post. Take your time. Don't rush nothing. Hey. This is what I was talking about the other day. We get a lead and get comfortable. Keep your foot on the gas. And they're leading together. It's no, it's no bullshit. It's none of that KG and Steph shit. It ain't none of that. It ain't none of that. You understand? Right. That's right. what I love about this. That's what I love about this team. These boys fuck with each other. They, 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 they're all on the same page. McDaniel, Walker, uh, Conley. Uh, even Rudy, I mean, I love in slow mo. I love it's Nas Reed. I love this team's makeup, and it's all because of their number. It, it's all because of their it, their leader. They've taken on the attitude and right. the presence of right. their leader. He's a closer, and he 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 has a great personality. Right. He talks his talk. He walks his walk, though. You know, going into this Mavericks series, I feel like this is going to be their biggest test. I know you have the champions and you have yep. to dethrone the champions, but right. when it comes to talent on talent, real shit, I'm just being honest here. This is just right. my opinion. Luca can beat you. Luca can beat you. These two, this two headed monster is real. If Luca wins one, like this year, with the numbers he's putting up, oh, there is. There will be a conversation to be had that will be bonkers. He has continued every year of his career, save one, exceeded expectations. And I think is unfairly maligned maybe by how good he was immediately. And who has more to lose? This is an interesting one. They're both young, feels like equal, but. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the Mavs. Okay, why? You got Kyrie Irving, you got Luka Doncic. Those are guys are, are considered veterans, they're considered superstars at this point. I think Anthony Edwards is emerging as a superstar. Carl Anthony Towns is emerging as a superstar. The other two guys on the, on the other side are already solidified. They already have reputations. They already have um, a standard that they have to live up to when it comes to their fan base and people that look up to them. So I think the pressure, um, even though they're, they're the, the the lower seed in this one, I think the pressure is on hmm. the Mavericks, and I, I think it's theirs to lose. Luka Doncic yep. has been the underdog in every playoff series he's played in, has been the road team in every series but one, and the one he was the home team, he missed the first two home games with an injury, so he's never had home court advantage. Every series he's been in except for round one this year was against a top nine defense. He has played the second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, and ninth defense in his career. Despite all of that, his playoff numbers are so bananas that this Western Conference semifinals, when he averaged 25, 11, and nine, it was the worst series of his career. He now has beaten the number one seed twice already in his career, and is at before he hits 26 years old, in his second conference finals as the best player. For me to really go like, oh, he's he took another step. It's gonna have to be win the finals. Win the Not finals. reach the finals, win the finals.